Hey, good afternoon. This is Neil Simple Futures, and it is Thursday, the 14th of December. We are right in front of December options expiration, the last one of the year. And um, that ought to be, uh, ought to be interesting here. The S&P's pressed all the way up against is near 4,800. Um, I, you know, the strength was into and through uh, out Wednesday, sideways to nothing today, Thursday. Um, honestly, kind of thinking in terms of having a hard time getting through 4,800 tomorrow. Um, I, I really, I'm having a hard time imagining this thing really breaking, continuing up through 4,800. It could, but that's not my focus. Uh, if, listen, if this thing starts to roll over and break, your weekly balance is all the way back here at uh, 4,700 in the ES futures. 4,700. This is a March quote. Okay, March March futures. By the way, don't, don't be messing around with December anymore. They're going to uh, go off the board tomorrow morning on the open, so you don't want to mess with those. Um, it's going to take, uh, it's going to, I mean, Look, I'll tell you, it's going to take break of today's um, balance point of control at about 68. And um, and all that will be good for is a move back into test this swing uh, kind of low here from today at um, basically 47.50. little bounce back up, and then we got to get through that. That'll be the thing, right? It's got to come down and basically beat this. Beat that, come back up on retrace, and start to roll. And target 4,700, you never know, right? I mean, it's a long shot, but, uh, you know, how much longer do you want to try to, you know, look for this thing just to continue? It's a it's a march up into the OPEX. Let's, you know, I'm, I'm ready to kind of uh, be more cautious than aggressive on the continuation of uh, an uptick of 15% in the last 33 days. That's pretty massive. Short, you know, short period of time. So that's what I'm looking for. Hope it helps. You guys have a good trade tomorrow. We'll see you again next week. Without simpler trading, I could not have financial independence. This is one of the best investments I ever made in my life. It's helping me find consistency. It's one of the things that won me 